Hey everyone, this is Dylan, and today I will be finishing up my Black Friday haul for 2021. I was waiting on something pretty major, uh, the Vinegar Syndrome order that I had, and it finally arrived today. I'm December 18th, so I was waiting for it a little longer than I was expecting, but I have it now, so I'm happy to do it. So I'll do an unboxing of that at the end of this video, but to start off, I was saving a couple things that I had gotten during the Black Friday time that I did not want to do a separate video for because I knew I was going to already be doing this Vinegar Syndrome video. These first two things are not movies, but they are movie related. And so these are from a local antique store where one of the booths was having a sale for Black Friday. This has somebody's name on it, so I won't be showing the that, but I did pick up the audiobook of World War Z. I am excited for that. This does look like it has quite a few pretty big name people that are voicing. Alfred Molina, uh, Simon Pegg, Cal Penn are a couple of the ones that I see. Uh, Mark Hamill. Um, so that's really cool. I have heard good things about World War Z, the book, but I have only seen the movie. So I'm interested to see how that is. And then we also have the audiobook for Ready Player One. This is something that I've started and I'm probably like halfway through. Um, I think I might have six hours or so left, um, but it is completely different than the movie, and that was one of the reasons why I wanted to give this one a listen. Also from the antique store, I ended up picking this up. It's not in, like, the best condition, but I think it was only $2.50. Um, so this is the newsroom, the complete first season. So I was happy to get this, and it was... Yeah, like I said, it's a little beat up, but for $2.50, you honestly can't go that wrong. So then the next three things that I picked up are all from Amazon. So I believe that on Black Friday, the actual day, Amazon had a sale for like their top selling box sets. So I ended up picking up two box sets and then one other thing that was, I think, part of a... Barnes & Noble sale, but I picked up the Shout Select version of Bill & Ted's Excellent Adventure. So this includes uh, Bill & Ted's Excellent Adventure and then Bill & Ted's Bogus Journey. And I have been waiting uh, to pick this one up. I think it was down to like 20 some dollars. And I've been waiting to pick this one up because I know that there's a like a bare bones copy from Shout Factory, but I wanted to pick this one up with the extra discs. It also comes with a, a little pick, and it also comes with, I believe these are two stickers um, for both of the movies. So that was pretty cool, and I'm happy to have finally picked this one up. I have seen Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, but I don't know if I've seen the bogus journey and i definitely haven't seen bill and ted face the music yet so i do look forward to watching those in the future i also picked up the batman the complete animated series this is one that i've needed to upgrade from my collection of vhs i have a couple of the batman animated adventures VHS sets and I've been trying to get this but it's always been really expensive probably I think it's like been like 60 50 60 dollars and they finally had dropped it down to I believe it was $29.99 so I was really happy to get that and then it also comes with two of the Batman animated movies the Mask of the Phantasm and then also Batman and Mr. Freeze Sub-Zero so really a really good deal to be able to get the entire animated series and then also those two extra movies. So then I also picked this one up, which I think was from Barnes & Noble. I don't know if this was technically during Black Friday or not, um, but I picked up the new 4K version of Mulholland Drive. I just picked up the regular version of Mulholland Drive back over the summer at the Barnes & Noble sale. 
And then they were like, oh, we're gonna do another Barnes & Noble sale for 50% off. And they had just announced that Mulholland Drive was coming to 4K. So I was like, you know, if that's on sale, it's only gonna be probably like 25 bucks. So I will sell my other copy that I got and try to get this one. And I ended up, I haven't sold the other copy, but I did end up purchasing the 4K version. I watched this movie and I was really excited and I really liked it. It's definitely a uh, a very trippy movie, so I definitely do like this one. Now we have our Vinegar Syndrome package, which I haven't opened. I did uh, cut the tape, but I have not opened it. I only picked up, I think I picked up three movies and one of the slip covers. It was a little more expensive than I was expecting on some of the titles and a lot of the new titles or a lot of the titles that I wanted were ones that had recently come out in the past couple months so they weren't on sale and that was a bit unfortunate but I'm going to try to get them when they are more on sale and definitely before the slip covers go out of print. That was definitely also something that I wanted to do was to pick up the ones that were in danger of potentially going out of print with the slipcover. So I wanted to make sure that I prioritized that in addition to what was on sale. So the very first one that I picked up was the this movie, which is called A Knife Plus Heart. Um, right there, you can see it. A lot of people, I have not seen this yet. Um, a lot of people were talking about this movie from being on Shudder. And I know a lot of people really liked this one, so I figured I would pick this one up and give it a watch. I believe it was like $24.99 or something like that with the new slipcover included so I was like you know what I'll, I'll pick that one up. I don't think this one was on sale because they just announced this version with the slipcover but I was like for $25 that's that's good enough for me. I also picked up this one which is from the Vinegar Syndrome Partner line which is the partnership of Altered Innocence. This is volume one and this is a collection of short films that all deal with LGBTQ plus and coming of age stories. So I was really interested in checking this one out. Uh, there's quite a few things from the Alternate Innocence line that I am interested in checking out. Uh, I believe that this Knife Plus Heart was also from Altered Innocence. Yeah, it was. So I definitely am interested in some of the stuff that they have. They, it was a lot of stuff that had just come out. So unfortunately it was still full price or whatever. So hopefully I'll be able to get that on sale at some point. And then the last one that I picked up, which I was a little surprised was going on sale because I thought that this was technically part of the Black Friday sale, but I think it was part of the pre Black Friday sale. So this is Surf 2, um, which is not one that I have ever watched, but I looked at the clips and looked at a couple of the stuff dealing with it, and I was like, you know what, this seems kind of interesting. I will show you the back, but I will censor some of it because uh, YouTube probably do, does not like that. But I watched this, the trailer and stuff, and it just seemed like such a kooky movie I was like, you know what, I definitely need to need to see this and see what it's all about because it seems bizarre. <laughs> so really happy to have gotten this one. And then I also picked up a slipcover. The past two Black Fridays, I believe, they've started to make slipcovers specifically for their catalog titles and I believe that this movie never had a slipcover to begin with, so I ended up picking this one up. I picked that one, the movie up, I don't know, probably a couple years ago now, and I was like, you know what, I'll pick up this slipcover as well. So this is the graduation day slipcover. So pretty happy to have gotten this one. I believe it was only maybe like $8 
for the slipcover, which is a little bit much, but I was like, you know what, I think that it will, at some point, uh, rise in value of the movie. I did pull it out, um, so this is the Vinegar Syndrome, which, it is interesting, it doesn't come with the, like, clear case, uh, but I think this was one of their very first, or one of the more, yeah, 2014, um, so it was a, one of the first Vinegar Syndrome releases, so they hadn't gotten all that stuff. But, that is it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed, let me know if you picked up anything from Vinegar Syndrome, or any of the other boutique labels during Black Friday, and let me know what you picked up. Thank you guys for watching, and remember if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to be, please hit that subscribe button down below, and give this video a like if you liked it. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great day. Bye.